staggered waiting times, additional personal protective equipment and tighter cross-infection control are just some of the new measures in place at dental practices on the rock. The measures aren't particularly new and come with the new normal territory. However, unlike other businesses that are yet to recover from the effects of COVID, dentists have a backlog of patients to see, whilst also taking extra precautions due to the virus. The patients will see different changes in their clinics. There will be a difference in approach to uh, the period of time before the patient's appointment, so patients will be asked about their medical history, um, specifically whether or not they're particularly at risk to this virus, because that may well influence the time of day or the period or the setting in which they will be treated at the clinic. And it's certainly a balancing act, though there are patients to be seen. Staggered waiting times and extra PPE does cost clinics. It's been very difficult to get hold of some of this protective equipment. Of course, prices have, have gone up through the roof and that will take some time to settle down, I imagine. But otherwise, in terms of the types of treatments that patients have been used to having, we should gradually get back to normal as, as everybody becomes more conversant and more used to a different way of doing things. You mentioned um, personal protective equipment uh, shooting up in price, we've heard that globally. Uh, that's obviously an extra expense for the clinic. Also at a time where you're taking less appointments to accommodate uh, bigger slots. So from a business perspective, how has COVID-19 affected dental practices in Gibraltar? Well, obviously during the shutdown, uh, no business at all. Uh, post shutdown, we have had to take stock of, of the changes due to increasing amounts of time required for, for treatment, uh, the additional costs of the personal protective equipment. Each practice will have to look at its own circumstances to see how best to ameliorate the changes and how it fits within their business plans and hopefully carry on trying to provide the same service that they've, they've given the public in the past. Back in June, due to the pandemic, the GHA postponed all its dental appointments. GBC has asked for an update on this and is awaiting a response.